Hello, so I'm a bit late on this one. This one happened a few weeks ago. This is Unbeaten American Montana Love. Well, previously Unbeaten American. Uh, he took on Stevie Sparks, who I'm pretty sure was just uh, supposed to be another another fighter to build up Montana Love's record. You know, he came up with a, he had a 15 and 2 record, which is pretty good. But, you know, Montana Love's undefeated. Yeah, and this is what happened. Let's watch it. And uh, this video is by Every Clean Shot. I hope you don't mind me uh, reacting to this video. This was under zone. I didn't want to risk watching, you know, watching their one though, because I thought they'd just take it down. Okay, it's got like that Marco Jackson. A power arm. He's going for an MJ thing. Good knockout record though. And I know that he has a loss to Tim Tazoo, but he's a light middleweight. So he must have, you know, gave up a lot of size now. And Mont I was actually going to react to Montana Love before, because, you know, he's got a good record and stuff, and I've heard he's pretty talented. I'm sure he is. Yeah, they're both throwing sharp punches. Yeah, things are getting a bit rough. Oh, here's a nice shot from Love. Nice body shot. Okay, looks pretty, looks pretty crisp actually. Oh, but Love's not intimidated. And I mean, I mean, a Spark isn't intimidated though. He's obviously came here, you know, believing he could win. And I respect that. Nice. Probably shook his confidence a little bit. He probably was expecting, you know, not such a tough fight. And Stevie Sparks is being really aggressive, just chasing after him, keeping them hands up nice and high like that. But it still looks pretty competitive, you know, from these highlights. He's getting closer. Okay, he's got him on the ropes. So he's definitely he's having his moments. He looks composed as well. He looks like he's prepared to take some shots, you know, he's walking him down, nice body shots. He's definitely got the star to give Montana problems, hasn't he? You know, he's just he's roughing him up. He's not letting him box, not letting him get aggressive. Keeping him on the back foot. Oh, head clash. That's a good point. Orthodox and Southpaws, you know, that does happen. Head clashing, stepping on each other's toes. God. I mean, I knew that was coming. Because that's what this fight is going to be infamous for now. It's a good upset win. Oh, come on. You can't celebrate after getting disqualified, bud. Did he, know, did, did he not know it was over? See, I'm sure Eddie Herm would have a different point of view if it was his, his guy got chucked over the ropes. Yeah, come on, bud. He could have stopped himself from doing that. He didn't have to follow through and actually throw him, push him over the ropes. He could have stopped. Uh, 
yeah, maybe they've got to do it again, or maybe Sparks takes this WBA regional belt and just climbs up them rankings. <sighs> I'm going to sound really dumb, but I can't remember. Are they junior waterways? Because I think the WBA junior waterway title is going to be vacated by Josh Taylor. I think he's been stripped of all of his belts, or oh, and he's just he's just going to let himself keep the WBO belt, which he's going to defend against uh, Jack Catterall in the rematch. I believe so. But yeah, my opinions on that is though, I believe that Montana Love, I think the pressure got to him. I've CV Sparks was applying on, and you know, I think a lot of people share this opinion that I think Love just, yeah, I mean, that was his way out, I guess, without losing more legitimately, getting knocked down again or whatever. He's, yeah, a bit like a bit of an Andrew Galata move. Like, whenever the pressure would get to him, he would do stupid stuff, like headbutt his opponent or hit him low. You know, kind of reminds me a bit of that. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.